Um, Jemima Khan slid in my DMs. <laughs> um, and Jemima Khan being who she is, you know, a, a, an icon, especially I'm a British Pakistani boy. You know, my dad, the real time he realized I made it is when Jemima <laughs> Khan slid in my DMs <laughs> and, asked me, and asked me to be in her movie. I'm getting married. You are? Who's the lucky lady? I don't know yet. What do you mean? I'm getting an arranged marriage. Quite assisted marriage. That's what we're calling it these days. I lived in Pakistan for 10 years throughout my 20s. And so it's not uh, directly based on my life, but it, I've met all the characters in this film it's one way or another. And it's my kind of take on having seen some very successful arranged marriages, having had some quite preconceived ideas about what they might be like, seeing them up close, seeing some that were incredibly happy, including even the younger generation, who, which is more slightly more into like assisted marriages, which is a very consensual arrangement, and looking at kind of different approaches to how to find lasting love as someone who's been quite useless at it personally. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm and a feel-good film. And in today's day, when there's so much darkness all around, we need something that can lift our spirits. It's really special, and we shot it immediately after lockdown, well, during a lockdown, and it was, it was such every day, it was just like a victory when we got through. So we were all really grateful. <laughs> this bit was so real. I could really relate to it, being, you know, of my age and my generation, about trying to find love and disillusionment with love and then arrange marriages. And sometimes, you know, you have to hand it over to the parents. How do you feel about possibly moving to London? She's fine with it. It's a very multicultural place. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I must do this. This is something so special. And uh, as it happened, my mother's also in this movie. Mm. <laughs> Mad panic four days before we were due to start shooting when we lost one of our key cast members, which was the woman who was going to play Nanny John, who's the grandmother. And I <laughs> sent a thing to Jeff and went, do you know anyone? Can someone play Nanny John? Help. And he went, mm, I know someone, I actually know someone really, I know someone perfect for this. <laughs> Didn't say that it was his mother. And then this woman <laughs> arrived on set and was an absolute sensation. And only then did he say, actually, she's my, <laughs> she's my mom. She'd never acted before. Wow. <laughs> and she was brilliant. Yeah. I think what is happening now as the world shrinks and becomes a global village, we are recognizing that cultures need to be understood in their own terms, mm. rather than the spotlight from the West on the East. And I think that's what the film does. It doesn't take sides. It doesn't say one is better than the other. It shows you both and you choose. And I think that's that's where she's been really brilliant in the way she's portrayed it. A very common complaint that I used to hear when I was living in Pakistan was that films in the West only show Pakistanis as terrorists or suicide bombers or fundamentalists or you know, in a in a kind of backwards, sort of unaspirational way. And that's why it was really important to cast the beautiful Shabana, where she Shabana, <laughs> and um, you know these a, a completely a completely different type of story. You know, a different type of, of second generation uh, British Pakistani family. And if anything, I would say that the Emma Thompson character Kath really looks up to and tries to emulate the Pakistani mm -hmm. family living next door. They've become like family to me since your father left for that teenage tour. And there are definitely no terrorists in this family. <laughs> yeah, right. I think when I looked at this and I said to myself, the yearning for intimacy, the yearning for love, does not belong to identity. Mm. It belongs to us all. And so when I looked at this, is what is this about this film that will not touch a young girl in Kyoto? Mm -hmm. What is it about this film that a young girl in Shanghai will not identify with it? And the more I thought about it, I said, the identification with the pursuit and the mystery of love and the mystery of intimacy is so universal. And we're just saying, you are all the same. Now, this is Pakistani and this is British. Or this is the, these are identities that we all take on constantly. But the search for who we are, the search for identity, the search for finding a way to be intimate with each other, it is represented in different ways, but all over the world, that's what it is. We have to just recognize it. We have to drop the word I for identity, mm -hmm. and we have to take the word we for community. Mm -hmm. And then we're all the same. How do I find love? Open your eyes, <laughs> I love open that. your hearts, it's that. <laughs>